see we have any issues with RetroArch crashing this morning. Got my coffee ready to play. Oh, it did indeed crash. What a surprise. Why do you do this, RetroArch? All right, one more time here. One more time. Here we are. We'll get the real audio going. Maybe that'll help. Usually, it's good if I don't start showing it until it loads the actual game. All right, how are we doing here? Are we good? There we go. I think it's working now. This thing is so finicky. All right, that's right. We got second party member we got geared up a bit we got our silver key and now we got to figure out where to go so let's go check the other towns we've been to and see if they have any silver doors i can unlock now seems like the obvious First choice. Silver door. There's a silver door. All right. Hey, Paul 180, what's going on? Hey, quest's going good. I mean, just started today. Had my first Dragon Quest 2 stream yesterday, so. We're figuring it out. Hey, what's in here? The lottery? Yeah, what are the rules? Press the X button once to start the lottery machine, then once again to stop it, match three sun symbols that win yourself our grand prize, the loyalty card. Three star symbols will net you our second place prize, the wizard's win. Do I want three suns or three stars? Um, that's going pretty quick. Can I cheat it? Those suns are rare, huh? Just woke up thinking about toast, but I'll be having dinner in not too long. Didn't, how, how long did you end up playing yesterday, Full 180? Did you go for the full 12 hours? Oh yeah, it didn't take a long time to stop. There's gonna be no way to time this. tickets do. I don't understand. I got DC'd a bit after the 10 hour mark and thought I'll just go to sleep. Ah, oh, you must have gotten off shortly after I left. Because you were over 10 hours when I went to bed. You were approaching 10 and a half, I think. Feel like playing that till I get lucky. Yeah, I'm actually probably not playing any dose today as much as I want to. I think uh, I think I feel like Frontier today, so I'm gonna do a little retro morning stream and then probably Frontier later this afternoon. 
That was the only silver door in this whole town? Alright, let's go check the castle, I guess. Yeah, I, uh, I'm loving Dose, but you know what? It's not going anywhere, and uh, Frontier's having an event today that I don't want to miss, so do some Frontier. What's the event? It's a Berserk Raviente. If you want to do the higher level Ravientes, Raviente is the gigantic snake monster in Frontier that you might be familiar with. If you want to do the higher level Raviente fights, you need like 30 people to fight it. Like you can't you can't fight it with just like a small group. So they have like special events on the rain server on some weekends where uh Yeah, so I want to do the higher level Raviente, and you basically have to do it with the big event. Oh, hey. Maybe I get there. So yeah, I'll play some Frontier today so I can do Raviente. The, the big bad one. Extra hard version. Hey, here we go. What's down here? Oh. This is the jail? Do you have the Jailer's Key? No. Don't get it where? I don't have the Jailer's Key, so I need to find the Jailer's Key. Extra hard, just how we like it. I pretty much, I need that Raviente uh, materials so I can upgrade my... my Raviente weapon, my evolution weapon. Oh, here's another, ooh, more silver doors. Okay, we're in the right place now. Banishing Bell can protect you from the magic of monsters. However, there's a small chance that you can be put to sleep. Interesting. Hello? It's all about what happened to Moonbrook. The evil priest Hargon is a sinister power. I hear that he will put a curse on people who seek to destroy him. Please be careful. Another Tombola ticket. Okay. I love it when there's just a guy behind a locked door in an old school game. It happens all the time. I think that that's kind of how it is in real life, too. If you find an old locked door and go look inside, there's probably just some person in there. I haven't seen where this gate goes. Let's find out. We. Oh, it's just a little, a tiny little island. All right. I'll get a boat soon, and then I'll go check that other island out. Man, I, I love these older RPGs, though. I was so much fun going back and playing through these. Get out of the way. All right. I think I need to head south. There was a guy that... Uh, look, all right. They put more effort into that dog's backside than they really needed to in this little 16-bit game. Did you see that when the dog was facing away? Doesn't want to do it again now because it's embarrassed. Look at that. They didn't need that much detail. Come on, game. It gave it a little butthole. Why would they do that? That's unnecessary. <laughs> I love that it's off-center as well. Uh... 
Now that's attention to detail. Hey, what's going on, Vey? How you doing today? You're just in time. Haven't even accomplished anything yet in this stream today. Trying to figure out where to go now. I think this old guy down here told me to come back when I found the silver key, which I did find, so hopefully he'll point me in the right direction for where to go next. Just in time to see nothing, let's go. Well, hopefully in time to see things. There's been nothing so far. I wanna get my third party member today. The princess of Moonbrook. All right, this guy told me to get the silver key. I got it. What's he got for me now? Oh, I've been awaiting your arrival, Prince J. Kong. Let me tell you something. Played Emerald a bit, started my Pokemon Marathon, listened to G Digimon Adventures music, then Digimon Savers opening, now I'm here. That's a lot of Digimon. We saved an old man from the tear of a locked door. That's not nothing, Jay. That's true, there was an old man behind a door and I opened that door. There are two kinds of keys, a gold key and a silver key, and two types of doors to match. First, you should find the silver key. Yeah, I did. There's a root. Wait. Oh, you've already obtained the silver key. How wonderful. I should have known. You're not gonna tell me where else to go? Oh, man. I thought he would tell me where to go next. That's two Digimon and two Pokemon. Savor. You know, I don't know anything about Digimon. I've never. You know, I got, um. One of the more recent Digimon games on Steam. The, um. Oh, shoot, what was it? It's like, there was like two Digimon games in one, and they're pretty recent, and they both came together on Steam. I got that, and I played like the first five or six hours of it. It seemed all right. I can't remember what it was called, but it was kind of fun. I think that I started working for like this private eye girl or something. Anyone know what I'm talking about? What's over here? I've never been over here. Oh, nothing. All right, I guess we're just gonna w randomly wander. I think I know at least one area I've never been to that maybe there's a town over there. MC is supposed to be 14, but looks like 20. I've never watched any Digimon TV shows. I'm aware of them, but I've never seen any. Pokemon, Digimon, Dragon Ball are the only ones I can watch dub. Uh, yeah, Dragon Ball Z, I prefer the dub to the original, probably, just because of Goku's voice actor. The fact that they never, like, so because Dragon Ball starts when Goku's a kid, understandably, they had a female voice actor to do little kid Goku, but they never changed voice actors as Goku got older, so it always bugs me that Goku talks like a woman. Like, he literally sounds like either a, a woman or a very young child, even when he's supposed to be, like, in his 30s. Really odd that they never switched voice actors. They should have. But that's why I prefer the dub of Dragon Ball Z. They'd always have... Yeah, they have email voice actors for the lead a lot, but... It's way worse, and, like, Luffy sounds like 
like a young, like an excitable young man when he Luffy speaks in One Piece. Goku sounds like either a very young child or a woman when he speaks as a guy like in his 30s. It's just, it's just odd. It doesn't work. The American voice actor is way better for Goku. It's like a tradition. It's literally always. I don't think that's true. Ichigo was voiced by a man uh, from Bleach. Uh, or else that woman had a, a surprisingly deep voice. And uh, like, Full Metal Alchemist. That was a woman? A woman that Ichigo's voice, really? I wouldn't guess that. I wonder why. Ah, don't poison me, you jerk. I don't know, otherwise Japanese wouldn't give women jobs or something? I kind of doubt that's the case, since there's plenty of women characters in all those shows. But I don't know. Normally, it's certainly not really an issue. Like I said, like, Luffy's voice actor's awesome. Luffy sounds great in One Piece. I would never watch the dub of One Piece. The original voice actors are just too great. All right, if there's nothing to be found over here, and I have no clue where I'm supposed to be going right now, so I'm hoping there's something over here that I haven't found. I know there's a cave up there to the left. I've been there. I have not been south. I haven't been south of this area. What's over here? I mean, so Shonen having women do, like, the lead a lot... It's also, I mean, shonen are made for young boys, right? So usually the hero at least starts out as a young boy. So when it's a child, it makes perfect sense to have a grown woman do the voice. So it's not that weird The shonen use women a lot, but I don't know. I think that maybe they need to switch voice actors when they grow up sometimes. As someone who speaks German, I can say German dub is worse than a lot of anime. Never watched any German dubs. As a non-German speaker, it would be weird if I did, but... Oh, they're gonna poison me. I hate bubble slimes. Only Rolando could one-shot him. Okay, good. No poison yet. One Piece is an exception. One Piece has a good German dub. I wonder how German Luffy sounds. Because I always picture every German voice as being super deep. Like a weird, deep-voiced German Luffy would be so weird. Luffy doesn't have a deep voice. That's good. I don't know. The Japanese voices in One Piece, they're literally too good. Like, I just can't imagine watching any dub. Like, just get subtitles, because you, you need... That original voice acting for One Piece is just... such an important aspect of the show, if you're watching it. My old German teacher could only get angry in English, so she starts shouting at her German people in English and they'd laugh at her. Ooh, Rolando gained a level. Little strength, little speed, little vitality, little of everything. 
Is there nothing down here, really? If there's nothing down here, I don't have a clue where to go next. Everything here poisons, so I'm kind of scared. I wish I could get out of here. Alright, at least I'm getting kind of lucky, not getting poisoned. Oh good, at least they won't poison me. Okay, you, you. The encounter rate in this game is pretty high. But I think that was a trick a lot in these older games to make the world feel a little bigger than it really is. Alright, what's up here? Please let there be something up here. Have either of you watched the current Dragon Quest anime? Oh, looks like there's something up there. What is that? Never heard of it. Yeah, there's a Dragon Quest anime ongoing right now that I've heard some people online say is really good. Oh no, I've been in there. That's not new. Uh, uh, I tried watching the first few episodes of it and it felt aimed at a very young audience. Like too young for me. I had trouble caring what was going on, but I don't know. I love Dragon Quest, so I'm tempted to give it another chance anyway. Anything over here? No, there's nothing here either. Where do I go? What's it called? I mean, it certainly has Dragon Quest in the title. Let me see if... I hope this won't crash the game here. Retro Arch loves to crash. I'm going to be upset if it does right now. Okay, it didn't crash. Let me check what it's called. It is called... Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai? Like, the AI? Like, that's, that's the title. All right. Like I said, I watched maybe the first like three, three or four episodes. I don't remember exactly how much I watched. nice I'm pretty sure it's still going but I'll be honest today I don't I haven't paid that close of attention because I I didn't like it much when I watched it but I think it's ongoing yeah my it hasn't been canceled or ended as far as I know It was maybe like a year or two ago, maybe two years ago now that I gave it a chance, tried it out. Oh, 
Oh, it finished airing, so it did end. Okay. Wow, we got 100 episodes. Jeez. Maybe it was longer ago than I thought that I gave it a chance. What's up here? Have I been up here? Twenty twenty. All right. So yeah, it was. It was longer ago than I thought that I watched it. Either way, I don't know. I know some people like it a lot, but I I didn't get into it. I was wondering if either of you had seen it. It seems like it's a pretty clear no that you neither of you have seen it. Starting your Pokemon marathon. Yeah, fair enough. I never liked the Pokemon anime. Like, even when I was a kid, when it was first airing, I just wasn't into it. I did like the games. I never liked the anime, though. Hmm. I'm at a complete loss as to where to go. Southern Sky could be burning red. Moonbrook. Oh, so it's Moonbrook's to the south. That actually is useful. Okay, so we should try to find a way to go further south. Let's see if there's any way to go south. I grew up with it only because of it. I knew Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, it was around when I was a little... Pokemon's around a long time now. <laughs> I know everyone on here called me a boomer and says I'm old, but, like... When I was a kid, that's when Pokemon was starting, and it was all the rage. So, I mean, the anime was very popular when I was in, like, elementary school. The games were very popular. And I did like the games, I just never got into the anime. Back then, the only anime I cared about was Dragon Ball Z. The only one I watched. When I played my first game, I was disappointed. Interesting. Hmm... How do I get to Moonbrook? I don't think I can go straight south from here, can I? No. What about up here around this bend? Might need my boy Zance to show up in the stream at some point to help me figure out what to do. I really don't want to look it up. Definitely want to go to Moonbrook. Like, I'm sure that's my next stop. Oh, oh, this is new. I haven't found this before. Looks like just wandering around randomly saves the day. Score. This has to be the right spot. Have you gone to the monolith that is the south of Middenhall Castle? Yes. Then I have nothing to say. All right. Please pass through. After a short walk south, you'll come to the town of Hamlin. All right. Thanks, everybody. Looks like we found the way to go. No guide needed. We're good. I'm sure I can find Moonbrook over on the other side. Uh, 
I had a feeling that was going to lead to this little island. Okay. Oldest trick in the book at old JRPGs. Always go the wrong way first to make sure you're not missing anything good. I'm not going to be able to buy much cool stuff in the next town, I don't think. I need more money. Hey, new area. We made it. To attack the drag mage? Dude, they might hit me pretty hard. Oh, he missed. Nice. Nice damage. Get that out. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Let's heal Rolando again. Here's this town. Ooh, new enemies. Centripedes. They look kind of scary. Oh no, enemies I can't one-shot anymore. Ooh, they hit kind of hard. Okay. I need new weapons. Dang, Rolando. You can't do anything to these guys. Ori experience. 70 gold. That's what I'm talking about. There's the town. We made it. Ooh. Um, let's sizz. Try sizz out, buddy. Oh, that's more like it. All right. We just gotta use magic on these things. Ooh, not quite a one shot. Forty-two experience, ninety gold. Yeah. All right, new town. Let's talk to everybody. Look for hints. Is that you, Jaykonk? Long ago, I was a servant in Middenhall Castle. It's a dream to meet you in a place like this. All right. Indeed, this world is becoming a treacherous place. The other day, there was an incident with a thief in the vicinity of Cannock. Luckily, the criminal was caught. By now, he should be in the castle's jail. <laughs> How much is the inn? 24 gold. Kind of pricey. Alright, what's your deal? 
Welcome to the town of Hamlin. This is the town where people get together and socialize. Well. The southwest of this town is Moonbrook Castle. Perfect. That's where I want to go. Southwest. Powerful monsters roam around Moonbrook, so be on guard. I heard that inside a tower somewhere, there is a cloak that lets you float through the sky. When you put on that cloak and jump from a high place, you can float for a short time. Don't forget what I told you. Oh, thanks, buddy. Weapon shop, what do you got? Okay, an iron lance. That is cool. Even better, a steel broadsword. Full plate armor. Oh, everything here is so expensive. We're definitely going to have to grind up some money. No way around it. Now we'll get an iron lance. Take on guys, no space. We gotta sell stuff first, actually. Sell. Sell this copper sword. What else do I got to sell? Um, I don't think I need all these antidote herbs. <clears throat> I think I can cure poison. Actually, no, I'll sell medicinal herb. Give me the Iron Lance. So now, when I upgrade to the better sword, I can just trade the Iron Lance to Rolando and upgrade him to... I don't need an extra chain sickle. Alright, we're doing alright on money still. Not too bad. I think that's all for now. Welcome to the lottery. No, I don't really get the lottery. I don't think I want to play it. You have a Timbola ticket? Yes. Timbola lottery is only a game. Don't get too caught up in it. Okay, so that's what those are for. That's what I thought. This is the vault. Wait, this is the vault? No, what was that girl down there? I thought she was the vault. Was that an item shop? This is an item shop. Okay, what do you got? Oh, she sells daggers? Interesting. Holy water. All right. Hello, puppy. Oh. Oh. Oh, I just had a memory, a vivid memory of this dog. Okay, I think I'm going to do something with this dog later. Maybe not yet. Even this place you can record your journey in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. I must say it's quite convenient. Oh, I get to save here? Sure. I'm supposed to do something with this dog. I can't remember what it is. I think it might be a human. Like, I take it somewhere to get it turned back to human or something. Maybe that guy? I don't think I can do it yet. I bet I need the gold key for whatever I do with him. Alright, well we gotta grind out a little money and then try to get to Moonbrook Castle and find the princess. Uh, centipede. I think I can maybe one-shot them now. Okay, you know what? You kill the Magus. You sizz the Centripede. Jaycon's hitting pretty hard now. He's a bit of a powerhouse, especially since I'm about to gain another level. Okay. 
Level 9. Ooh, three strength. Only strength, though. Nothing else. Corpse Corporal. How tough are you? Pretty tough. A lot of health. Wow, a lot of health. There it went. Alright, we should probably head down towards Moonbrook. I'm gonna grind. I'd rather have my third party member with me, so she's getting experience too. Rather than just grinding up these two, and then getting her at level one. He looks tough. Okay. Take Bonku after the bad boon. Ooh. Incredibly fast here. You're lurking. All right, Vey. I'll see you around. Have fun. Uh, I imagine you're going to be playing Pokemon or something while you're lurking. Ooh, three bad boons. Watching Pokemon. Cool. Enjoy. Oh, squid attacking Rolando, you jerks. guys are a menace. Oh, I healed the wrong person. Uh-oh. Yeah, see you later, Vey. Hey, another level up. Nice. Strength by six. Whoa. And he learned a new spell. Isn't the Oaken Club absolute garbage? Yes, it is. Just sell it just to get space back. Heal up, save, and then head for Moonbrook. See if we're strong enough to make it. I guess I don't even need to save. Let's head for Moonbrook. You said it's southwest. somewhere. Ooh, these guys look scary. Dragon fried. Oh, 
Okay, they don't have much health. Ooh, they can do damage with Sizz, though. They got magic. Ow. Ooh, tons of experience, though. That looks like Moonbrook Castle to me. Surrounded by poison. Get him easily murdered. Oh boy, that's that's a lot of cobras. That sucks. Cobras. We can't be poisoned. All right, good stuff. Hey, hey, hey that was a lot of damage. Okay. You're moving a lot of healing in here, Rolando. I am the spirit of the King of Moonbrook. My daughter, Linda, was inflicted by a curse and turned into a dog. The dog was Linda. Ah. I knew that dog was important. I just couldn't remember the details. I wonder how I make her human again. Smog and Corpse Corporal. Hmm, I bet Smog is weak to magic. He doesn't look like he'd be weak to physical. Let's try Fizz. Let's what Fizzle does. Let's try Sizz. Oh, never mind. That was wrong. That literally did nothing. Let's try physical. Okay, smog is weak to physical damage. I had it exactly opposite. That doesn't really make much sense, but whatever. Side. Boo. Dang it, empty treasure chests. Oh, Rolando, you didn't even one-shot the Cobra. I was counting on you, buddy. of here you will see a place with four bridges and a small swamp the mirror of Ra is there I cannot pass away until I impart this information to someone east of here 
Wait, tell me that one more time. In a land east of here, four bridges and a small swamp, the Mirror of Ra is there. I wonder if I need that to fix Linda. We gotta go east and look for a swamp with four bridges and find the Mirror of Ra. are a problem. Oh, oh, I didn't know they poisoned. Crap. Uh. I think Squelch cures poison. Yep. Alright, good job. First turn, no one poison me, please. <sighs> Dang it, no. What? It's Hargon. The army of Hargon has come and invaded. Help. Hmm. How do I get over there? Do I have to circle around and walk through the poison? That sounds crappy. Yo, all of these poisonous monsters are the worst. And I'm poisoned. There's Squelch. I can't use Squelch in, in battle. Well, I'm making a lot of money. That's pretty cool. I gotta head back to town soon. I'm almost out of magic. Oh, can't start going around that way. Alright, we're heading back to town. And then we're gonna head east and look for... Uh, for that swamp and mirror that they were talking about. Oh crap, he put us to sleep. Oh no. Oh jeez. What is this? We got our defense down to like the negatives. Stop 
putting me to sleep. Oh no. That's a lot of damage. Wake up! Are you kidding me? And there went all my money I made. Ah, oh, all of it. That is ridiculous. They just put you to sleep and then just beat you to death. Okay, well, first first death of the game, in fact. And there's the rest of my money to revive this jerk. Sucked. I'll save. Hey, doggy, you're uh, Linda, right? I don't know how to help you yet. We'll figure it out. I think it might be that staff of raw. here or a mirror rather no shame to myself i was very frightened from when i fled the castle by now moonbird castle is oh princess lynn all right let's head east it's the only hint we got and hope we don't get put to sleep and beaten to death like that again that was pretty brutal All right, the guy that sleeps me is not here, at least. Hmm, just these guys that destroy your defense. sleep you thanks for 180 were you watching that i got screwed there that was not cool yo what's up crimson how you doing i think i'm taking a one day dose break crimson and going back to frontier today i really want to do the rabiente event you're doing a couple of hunts before food. Full 180, you are so addicted to dose. Raviente event today, Crimson. You should get in on it too. That's what I want to do. Assuming I haven't missed it, I have no idea like when it is. I just know it's today. Gotta take advantage of the time I got. Fair enough. Where is this swamp? Be down there somewhere. Gonna lurk and eat. Have a good one. Yeah, no worries, full lady. I'll see you. Enjoy your food. Hey, level up. A conquerors to level ten. Strength by 3, speed by 4, vitality by 2, HP by 2, not bad. 
Not bad at all. What's his full health now? Sixty-four, pretty good. Oh, not the Somnol, and they need to die. Can you one shot at Rolando? I finally finished the village story in Dose. Now I need to finish the port so I can unlock Rathalos. Uh, I have not done much village. I did some village yesterday, but I've only done very little in the village. I really like the village so far. But people have been wanting to play online, so I've mostly been online. There's content locked behind village. Interesting. Well, I guess everyone's going to have to do it eventually. A lot of people are slacking on the village right now. But, break from Dose Day. Gotta do me some Frontier. It's been too long. I haven't played Dose since Wednesday, or I mean Frontier since Wednesday. That's way too long. Alright, where's this swamp at? It has to be... Oh, oh, there's a tower. Dose, enjoy your poggies. Yo, what's up, Seth? Haven't seen you in a bit. You stepped away from Remnant 2 for a few minutes. Low rank Rathalos slash Azurlos are only in village. Nah. Just two days break. Need to kill these Somnol ants. They're the worst. They put me to sleep and then everyone kills me. Didn't have any days off in two weeks straight, 10 hour plus streams. Yeah, that's a bit much. I have a new, my new record longest stream was eight and a half hours. I've not gone longer than that yet. That was my uh, Thursday Monster Hunter G marathon stream. I call eight and a half hours a marathon stream and you just do 10 hours regularly. just for him too. Well, I'm glad that it's everything you were hoping it would be. Almost done with the 100% grind, nice. Yeah, we've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter Dose, but I'm going back on Frontier today, Seth. The Raviente events today, you should join. Ooh, swamp, bridges. I'm looking for a swamp with four bridges. This should be the right place. I missed it? I missed the Ravi event? Was it like while I was still in bed or something? That sucks. Seth, how else am I supposed to power up my, uh, my Raviente weapon? I had like six notifications in Ravi channel, maybe. I think they must do it at hours that I'm in bed. It sucks, because I really want to do it. Road or bounties? Bounties seem like a pain. And I need to, like, upload stuff to Discord. I just wanted to do it in-game. I thought the Ravi event would be a fun way to do it. But I always miss it. Plus, I'd like to just experience the, you know, the higher rank, like, G-rank Ravientes. I'm curious about them. Can you? It, are that Because even the ones that are made for like 30 people? Oh, the server scales it. We didn't know that. Oh, that changes things then. Oh, so I can do... So we weren't doing it. We tried to put together a group, but it said that it was made for 32 people or whatever. So we were like, well, we can only get like five people. We can't do this. I see four bridges. So this swamp should have the mirror.
Multiplier could be done manually via in-game chat commands before. There's a server command to force the raid to start. We know the server command to make it start, but we didn't know that it auto-scaled. Yes! I found Ra's mirror! Woohoo! That's awesome. I'm so smart. I think this might turn Linda from a dog back into a human. Well, you just, uh, you just made my day, Seth, with that information. So I might do some Berserk Ravientes today then just to experience it. But either way, I'll be playing Frontier. I'm taking a one day break from Dose. I'll be back on Dose tomorrow. Level nine, ooh, speed by seven. How long is the Dose beta running? Forever, it's never going away. It's up for good. This is it. Look, they'll probably keep doing occasional updates to it to try to improve stability and, like, add events and stuff, but it's never going away. No, no, no. This is... Open beta is, like, forever. This is never going away. So it's just released now. You can play it as long and as much as you want. They call it a beta because it's technically not 100% complete, but it may never be technically 100% complete. But I bet they'll get it more stable than it is now, because it's still having issues, but it's not going anywhere. Like, crimson as long as I want. But either way, I haven't seen either one of you in Frontier in seeming, it feels like weeks. You should play today, it's gonna be great. Yeah, Seth's not great at holding hands. I'm still waiting for the guy. Anyhow? What are you talking about, Seth? I think you lost me. <laughs> Yo, Zance, what's going on? How you doing? Guy fixing CQ stuff? Oh, you mean like the uh, pre-G Frontier patches, Seth? Oh, your patch. Yes, please complete your patch. By the way, I'm definitely telling everyone that you're gonna start a server at some point, so I'm getting everyone pre-hyped for this server that you keep claiming you're not doing. Good luck. <laughs> I'm gonna have dozens of people ready for your non-existent server on day one. Each plus 100. So Zance, you'd be proud of me. I'd looked nothing up and all on my own, I figured out how to find the Mirror of Ra in that little swamp. I'm on my way back to hopefully turn Linda back into a human maybe. I think that's what the mirror is for. I'm not 100% sure, that's my guess. If it's not for that, then I don't actually know why I got the Mirror of Ra, but I got it. Final Fantasy V moment, trying to figure out where to go. You know, it's funny you bring up Final Fantasy V, Seth. I was talking to Zance about that yesterday. 
uh final fantasy 5 is literally the only final fantasy i've i've never beaten because i always get tired of it it always feels like a worse final fantasy 3 to me In five? Oh, like I said, we kind of brought it up yesterday. I don't remember precisely how far I got. I know I got past that shipwreck. And I unlocked, I think, at least the second set of jobs. But I don't remember. I mean, how do I say? Because that game barely has a story. It's like you just kind of fumble your place from one area to another. It's just hard for me to maintain my interest in that game. I don't I will play all the way through it probably on stream because I'll probably stream through all Final Fantasy games maybe after Fantasy Star I want to do these Dragon Quest games until I get tired of them and then and then Fantasy Star not even halfway is right I don't think I got halfway at all I didn't play that deep into it a few hours really Um, I don't know how to use this. Play Lufia? I've never played Lufia. That would be a first. Lufia or Lufia 2. I haven't played either one. Yeah, that's what I was about to try, Zan. That's why I was stepping outside. So she'd stop following me. Gaze into Ra's mirror. What? The mirror reflected back the form of a beautiful princess. The mirror shattered and removed the curse that was on the princess. Hey. Oh, I've been returned to my original form. I'm already starting to feel like my old self. I am the daughter of the King of Moonbrook. I'm sure you know by now that Moonbrook Castle was attacked by Hargon's army. I was changed into the form of a dog by a curse and taken here. By now, Moonbrook Castle is in ruins. I'm afraid to think of what has happened. Please let me accompany you as an ally. Let us fight Argon together. All right. We got the whole crew now. We're a party of three. Uh, Luffy is a banger game. Well, the second one, not the prequel, is very good, though. Luffy 2 is really good. The original Luffy is very dated. I have heard that. I've heard that Luffy 2 is where it's at. Uh, but I think I already decided my next, like, so I've played every, uh, there's a lot of Dragon Quests I haven't played. For now, I'm going to continue Dragon Quest. I'm excited to get to three after this one, but I think I'm going to do Fantasy Star after that. I think I want to play the original four Fantasy Star RPG games because I've never played them. Maybe Lufia after that, before Final Fantasy. Because once I start Final Fantasy, that's such a big commitment. It's going to take a while. Alright, let's save. I see Lufia 2 is the enhanced version of Lufia 1. I would probably play both. It's just how I roll. Since it's nearly the same story with different protagonists. I'm doing Skies of Arcadia and The Legend of Dragoon after I finish Final Fantasy. But after that, I don't know what shit I'm going to do. Uh, Sky of Arcadia is awesome, and Legend of Dragoon is awesome. So, you can't go wrong with either of those two. Um, oh yes, I want to check what she's equipped with. Cypress stick and plain clothes. I don't know what she can wear. Probably not much. Chrono Trigger is a masterpiece. I love Chrono Cross as well. I think Chrono Cross is underrated. Didn't I get some leather armor? I wonder if she can wear leather. Probably not, but I'll give it to her just in case. And any other items worth giving her? No. She cannot wear leather armor. All right, well, had to find out. <laughs> Speaking of Chrono Cross, you're not going to believe this. I don't believe it. 
got for two bucks. I don't remember how much. I mean, I had it back when, you know, it wasn't even that old of a game. <laughs> I probably, I might still have my old boxed CD copy around somewhere. I don't know if I still do. It's been a long time. I lose track of which older, like, PS1 games I still have. Fifteen hundred for a steel broadsword. Dang, Linda can't equip anything, can she? I lost a bunch of CD cases or CDs for my game, Sag. Yes, agreed completely. I went to a yard sale and this guy was selling his old games for two bucks a piece. I got Chrono Cross, Suikoden so three and four, and Wild Arms three. Wow, that's that's quite a haul. That guy kind of screwed himself. He could have made a lot more money selling those on eBay or something. Uh, okay, I need more money. Isn't there... Oh, she sells cheaper gear. Maybe Linda could use one of them. I made robbery and I was the robber. Oh, she can use a divine dagger. Congratulations, Linda. I've got you something new. Also, Atari stuff should have some VHS stuff somewhere, though. You know, Atari is, like, too old for me. I, I can go back. I obviously love retro games, but I think NES is about as retro as I go. Uh, Atari's a little too old for me. I have trouble enjoying those games. Beat Atari before with SNES or any other console. Yeah, my family, I never grew up with Atari. I grew up with an NES and then a Super Nintendo. Uh, but not an Atari. If I grew up with an Atari, I might have more fun going back and replaying those games. We need to grind up just a few hundred, get Linda a few levels. There's one specific game I always played on Atari, I can't remember the name. Was it E.T.? Oh, the music changed! The music changed now that I got the whole party. Neat! Oh, now that's Dragon Quest music right there. It was some colony building thing. Hmm. I love that the music changed. This game has awesome production values, honestly, for its age. I've been really impressed with that. Production value-wise, I think this, this crushes Final Fantasy of the time. Hmm. Saw the Sky Bolivian progress support. I have not. What's going on with it? How's it going? Keep in mind that for me, I love Oblivion. I put probably a few hundred hours into Oblivion, but I still think it's the worst Elder Scrolls game. So I'm not like holding my breath over Sky Oblivion. I'll play it, but I prefer Morrowind. I prefer Skyrim. I even prefer Daggerfall to Oblivion. Attacking Linda, you dumb rats. I'll send you the vid link and check it after stream. Will do. I am curious. The fact that she has mid heal is pretty awesome, so she's definitely my full on healer, huh? The, the Elder Scrolls projects that I tend to try to follow as much as possible are uh, Daggerfall Unity and uh, Open Morrowind, just because Open Morrowind is amazing.
And really, the only way I even play Morrowind anymore is open Morrowind. How is Linda not gaining any levels? What is going on here? Sky Oblivion set to be released in 2025. Interesting. That's pretty far out for them to be even trying to give a date. 13 years in the making, and probably still 13 years before Elder Scrolls 6 manages to actually come out. Speed, vitality, ooh, learn snooze. No HP or MP? Come on, Linda. Elder Soul 6 says, real as Silk Song. You know, I haven't been following Silk Song, but you're right, now that you mention it. They announced that so long ago and they showed a bunch of gameplay too. How is that not out yet? They were showing what looked like nearly complete gameplay like years ago. technically have any idea what I'm supposed to do next now that I got Linda. Getting Linda was my main goal. Maybe I'm supposed to take her back to Moonbrook Castle and talk to her dead dad or something? Right, finished food. Gonna prep for the leftover <laughs> remnant grind. Good luck. Thanks for stopping by, Seth. Maybe I'll see you uh, during the Frontier stream later, but probably not, I guess. Dragon Quest will do. I'm probably only playing this like another 30 minutes or so. I tend to do about two hours on my retro streams. Almost enough money to upgrade Jay Conk's weapon, which will also allow me to upgrade Rolando's weapon. Just need like another hundred gold. Level 3. HP and MP. I'll take it. Who needs it?
Nice. How much money? 58 gold? Let's do one more. Then I can buy the new weapon and stay at the inn before heading back for Moonbrook. I would like a steel broad... Ooh, that's ten more attack. That's huge. Yeah, steel broadsword. Then we'll give the Iron Lance to Rolando, so he'll get an upgrade as well. There are five, five attack upgrades, so he'll be doing way more damage. And I don't... I'm pretty sure she... Linda can't use that, just in case... Just in case she can use it, I will give her the chain sickle, but I really don't think she can. Nah, she's unable. Okay, we'll sell it then. We are. We got a little money back in the bank. Not bad. We'll stay at the inn and save, and then we'll head for Moonbrook. Thirty-six gold. So expensive. Jaykonk's almost leveled up again. And Linda's not too far. Alright, let's head back to Moonbrook. hidden harder. Linda still doesn't, but whatever. She's our mage. Oh, baby. Jaykong's hitting real hard now. I think he'll be one-shotting pretty much everything. And five more strings, and more speed, and more vitality. That was an awesome level up. Jaykonk's a beast. We need to kill these guys. Alright. Hey, Linda. It's your castle. Remember this place? Phew! 
Ooh, excuse me. There's no one in front of me. Hey, come here, king. I'm the spirit of the king of Moonbrook. My daughter Lindo is in... I mean, I know. Oh, to see her again. Father, it's me. Who's there? I can neither hear nor see anything. I am the spirit of the king of Moonbrook. Who is that speaking to me? Father, it's me, Linda. The voice that I have longed to hear is it my imagination, but look at me now. I, it can't be, I can see it's you, Linda. Ah, Father. Seems you've been changed back to your beautiful form. Because of your efforts, I can feel that my soul has returned to my body. Truly, you are wonderful. Now I don't regret leaving this world. Father, I... Don't be sad, Linda. You have accomplished so many wonderful things. Moreover, you have forged a powerful friendship. Jay Conk, from now on, seek the help of Linda. Come now, I must go. At long last, I can see the gates to heaven. Father, I certainly will rebuild Moonbrook Castle. I understand. You are my beloved daughter. You will do your best. I will always be watching over you from heaven. Well then, farewell. Oh, I can see the heaven's gate. Thank you. Take care. Are you going to give me anything? I was kind of hoping I'd get something. Dang it. Oh well. I guess we helped his soul find peace. I should feel good about that. Uh, Rolando, you get that smog. Linda, you try not to die. Dang, I still can't one-shot those zombies. Oh, no! Oh, it didn't work. I really thought Rolando would uh, one-shot that smog. Oh, dang it, Rolando. You're so worthless. Damage? What? Yes, I'll do it. There. Nice. Level four. Strength 1, Speed 2, Vitality 1, MP 9. That's... Ooh, and a new spell. All right, that's a great level up for Linda. I wonder what Woosh does. So it's one that I can... It, so it's a combat spell of some kind, if I can't use it out here, I think. Oh, this is how I get down there. I know I did this. Can you be in peace now? Yo, you gave me the information. Pass away, my friend. What if I use the mirror? Oh, the mirror broke. Yeah, it's gone. You get out of my way so I can go up there. Almost. You're almost out of my way. There you go. Oh, jeez. to try out whoosh. Now that I think about it, I think I know what whoosh is. That does, that attacks multiple enemies, right? Like, that would hit both the corpse corporals here if they don't die first. Well, now we won't know because I think one's going to die. Yeah. Not bad damage, Linda. Okay. Linda might be legit. Hate so much. 
What did you have? I'm getting pretty hungry. I'm kind of jealous. Might need a nap. By nap, do you mean to play some Monster Hunter Dose? Tell me if I'm right. Do you hit them all with whoosh? Let's test this. Yes, it does work. Linda, score. You took them both out. I'll sleep in game. That'll sort me out. Fair enough. Oh, uh, it's so nice having a proper mage on the team. You're hungry, so let me tell you everything I just ate. Please do. Tell me all about it. Is it almost lunchtime? What time is it? It's approaching lunchtime. It's a little after 10 here. I'm starting to get a little hungry for lunch. I had a pretty small breakfast. Oh, hello. What's going on down here? Oh, princess, I was unable to protect the princess. Because of that, the princess is in a town somewhere. Her form changed by a curse. Oh, I already figured this out without him even telling me. However, if you have the Mirror of Ra, you'll be able to reflect back her true form. You'll be able to undo the curve, blah, blah, the princess, the princess. Oh, will you say something new or same thing? I can't believe it. It's her. Okay, I made him at peace. So is that all there is to do here? Roast chicken and potatoes, pigs and blankets, roast carrots, and some long stem broccoli with the most amazing gravy. Uh, that sounds very British. I mean, I like roast chicken, I like potatoes, I like pigs and blankets. Eh, that does sound pretty good now that I read it all out. All right, I approve. I would eat that meal. I'd eat that right now. Get him, Linda. <laughs> we were about to have a problem. I don't know, I just see gravy and I just picture like beans on toast, British food. As a proud Brit, you have to be fully aware of your nation's reputation for having the worst food. Gravy was pog. Anyone who said they didn't like it must be out of their damn mind. It depends. There's some things I don't like gravy on that other people do. I'm kind of neutral on gravy. It's, it's good on some things. What's over here? I don't think I've been over here. Oh, there's a thing that I've not been to. Hey there, buddy. What's your deal? You wonderful people who resemble the heroes are here. You probably never had good gravy. Good gravy. It is unacceptable that I have not yet finished my training. What are you talking about? Oh, because, oh, you mean like preacher? Like man of God training? Oh, well, I'm in a new place. I just walk right across. What's over here, I wonder? New enemies. Oh, I hope they're not too strong. Um, tulips. Rolando, the flowers gotta be weak to fire, right? And Linda, you whoosh these dirty rats. Nice. Linda's so strong already. She's only level four. Mm. 
Getting a little nervous. I wish I had bought that better armor at that last town. Might want to head back and get better armor. I have a feeling I'm going to get beat up over here. And I wouldn't mind Linda having a couple more levels. It might be time to grind a little bit. Add booms. Fuck them before. <laughs> Ooh, another level. Linda, roast to level five. Speed by five, vitality by two. <laughs> ban an in-game action, flee? I never flee. That was a waste of a ban. But I'll honor it. I was going to attack, but thought that'd be a bit much. That would have been a bit much. You're not wrong. Technically, I think I could get away with it using spells, but I'll run into the MP pretty fast. What's over here? Oh, freaking smog. Smog is so annoying. I don't think they take any... I wonder if they take damage from wind. They didn't take any damage from fire. Find out. Let's see if whoosh hurts them. I don't know if they're immune to magic completely or just fire magic. Oh, they are not immune to whoosh. Awesome. We'll do heal next. Now that one would be brutal. Get whooshed, noob. What? Why is this smog of so much health? Ah. Whatever. Did you die, please? Nice, another level up. Who's this time, Rolando? Yep, level 10. Strength 1, speed 4, vitality 2, and HP and MP. Not bad. Ooh, and he learned Zoom! Oh, she is Pogacy. town maybe upgrade gear a little i don't think i have enough money quite yet i'd like to buy better armor i might be able to buy better armor i can't remember how much it costs i bet whoosh crushes all three of these dragon fries Woosh is such a strong spell. Man, Linda's awesome. Does burn through her MP pretty quick. See how much improved armor is going to cost me.
All right. Oh, I can afford full plate armor. Very nice. Steel shields are more expensive, but... And only for Jake Honk, nothing for Rolando. Who's naming their video game characters Linda, though? Yikes, I didn't name her. So apparently, Full 180, uh, Zance was explaining this to me yesterday because I didn't know this. So I named Jake Honk, obviously, but the prince and princess that I gained who are called Rolando and Linda here, uh, I guess their names are fully randomized. Like, they don't have canon names. Every time you play the game, they're going to have different names. So, Rolando and Linda were both random names they were assigned, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah. I got the full plate armor. I will now sell my old armor. Yo, Roruki, what's going on? Canonically, it's Prince of Canock and Princess of Moonbrook. Yeah. Pretty good party, too. They've grown on me. I'm happy with this party. I'm looking forward to murdering... I forget the bad guy's name. Hard? Hard? Something? Aaron? Hardon? Probably not Hardon. I can't remember his name. Girl, quit blocking me in. I got Moonbrooked once. Maruki, it's a uh, it's a frontier day. Don't get all dosed out. We gotta play some frontier. You know you want to. I I can't stay away from frontier that long, Maruki. I gotta play some. I'm taking a day off a of dose. I'll be back to dose tomorrow. More doses of dose. Dose is amazing, but so is Frontier. I don't want to stop playing Frontier for it. All right, now we got the better armor. It's dose day every day. Yeah, I'm I'm taking a day off. I I can't. I already skipped one Frontier day this week. It's all I can handle. I need my Frontier. So I'll be on Frontier this afternoon. miss my miss my gun lance i miss my extreme style and insanely overpowered monsters she's sweating and shaking like i need frontier man that's not wrong uh how much mp i have 48 mp uses four every time i whoosh do i want to use a whoosh on these guys i think i will so strong. Look at that. What a spell. Linda's a powerhouse. Zance, are you gonna are you gonna join me for some frontier today or are you like dose only at the moment as well? Oh, why didn't it work? Welcome back, Bay. How was Pokemon? Tears flew? I bet.
thinking back to how it was when I watched it as a kid. Ah, the nostalgia got to you. Yeah, I'm not really nostalgic for Pokemon. I played it as a kid, but... It wasn't, like, an important part of my young life. It was just another game that I thought was pretty decent. When you saw Brock again, that's the guy that never opens his eyes, right? Yeah, okay. I know him. Does he... Is he even a Pokemon trainer? I feel like I... So what? There is Ash, Rock, and Misty were the main characters. I know Misty was a Pokemon trainer because didn't she have a Squirtle or something? Was Brock even a Pokemon trainer? I don't remember ever seeing him actually fight with Pokemon. He's a gym leader? Oh, okay. Of the Indigo League. Well, what's this little oasis? This is interesting. This has got to be a thing. Uh, kill the dirty rats, Linda. Use your whoosh powers. Oh, that didn't work out real well. Ah. I always admired him, wished to have an older brother like him. What's so great about him? Wow, they really went after Linda. Good thing I had her defend. He's got like 400 siblings? What the? Really? Do they not have, uh, contraceptives in the Pokemon world? I don't think his mom has a problem. Alright, Jacon grows to level 12. Strength increased by 3, speed by 3, vitality by 1. Not bad. This is very suspicious. Let's search this weird little oasis all over. Never mentioned in the lore, but I imagine his parents are nymphos. His mom died, I think, probably at childbirth, and his dad wanted to be a great Pokemon trainer. He failed and was so ashamed of himself he didn't return. Wow. That's some crappy parents. Well, I mean, not the dying one. That's not really her fault. Crappy dad. Nope, nothing in this weird little oasis. And he does return, and that's why Brock can go with Ash. Oh, I see. Now that's a proper whoosh right there. to be anything in this desert. What am I supposed to do?
Oh, a metal slime. Ooh, get it, get it, boys. Uh, let Linda try to whoosh the flowers. I don't know. I don't think of 20 kids back to back is medically advisable. Not surprising she had died. Uh, I mean, maybe she kept having like triplets or quadruplets every time. Dang, metal slime. There are twins among them. Maybe in the world of Pokemon, you get, like, massive tax benefits for having children. And they were impoverished, so they, that was literally a money-making scheme to just keep popping out kids. Especially if you then abandon your children, don't even take care of them, but still, like, get the tax cuts or collect the benefits. Say that about my family. I <laughs> think this big Pokemon trainer just pop out tons of kids, yep. Hey, Linda's level 6. Good job, Linda. Speed, Vitality, HP, and Learned Dazzle. Pretty good. You have 12 children! Holy crap, eh? Seven sons, five daughters. That's that's pretty impressive. What the heck? There's nothing over here. What am, I'm missing something, clearly. Why would they make a tunnel to a barren land with just a big empty desert? I know someone who's one of 16 or 18. I don't recall. It's at least 16. That's, that's crazy. Metal slime, don't run away. Get it. Get the metal slime. Nice, it's not running, it attacked. Come on, someone kill that slime. Oh, stop missing. Come on, come on, come on. Ow, don't sizz me. Ooh, how much health is it? Come on, slime. Ah, oh, it has a lot of health. Already hit it for like four damage. Oh, after all that, it escaped. Metal slimes. What do you mean metal slimes are good? Of course metal, you always want to get metal slimes. They give you tons of experience. Tons of experience. The best way to like grind levels in the in, in any uh, Dragon Quest game is to grind metal slimes. Yeah, they're very good. They are very very good. They're tons of experience, and I mean tons. Like, so let's say these uh, these fights are giving me like ninety to hundred experience or whatever. A metal slime might give me like a thousand experience. They're huge. I might get excited when I find one, but they're hard to kill. By the way, you should play Dragon Quest. These games are awesome. I mean, you could play a more recent one than this one if you don't like really old games, but... The whole franchise is awesome.
would highly recommend nine it's on the ds yeah nine is probably good i haven't played that one yet i still think 11 is the easiest one to recommend it's the newest it's on all the current consoles i do like old games just prefer the ones with monsters i can <laughs> i get it another monster hunter addict i think that um my stream draws other monster hunter addicts i'm so bloated i need playing dose right now I want to play Dose really bad. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted now to change my mind about playing Frontier today because apparently there's no Raviente or I missed it. I wanted to do Raviente today, but I don't know. I guess I'll decide later. I'm not fully committed. We'll see if like Zance or someone or Omega says they want to play Frontier also. I'll play with them. Otherwise, maybe I will do Dose. Dose is calling, Jay. It is an amazing game. I, I love it. You're playing Frontier tonight, Zance? Mmm, I might play Frontier then. I gotta be close to another village here. What's up here? The dose needs you for the army or some other propaganda. But all them tulips. Get out of here, tulips. Oh, I get it, like tulips. I didn't get that pun at first. I think I had to say it out loud. Whoosh is so OP. But I am out of MP on Linda now. She's officially useless until I find a village to stay at the inn. Why did those monsters have a random lottery ticket? Oh boy. Hard <laughs> whoosh, but it's just a trail of monster bodies. For you, Linda, and for five damage. How much money am I? Ooh, I've got tons of money now from running. Oh, oh, that's not a town. That's a. Oh, wait, if I climb to the top of this, I can fly across, can't I? Ooh, I don't think we're ready for this. We're here with, like, no magic. Travelers, did you know? No. These famous twin, ooh, twin towers too soon are called the Dragon's Horn. Long ago, a bridge connected the opposite shores of the towers. There may still be a way to cross to the other side. Bruh. All right. We aren't ready for this. We can't climb a tower when we're this low on resources. <laughs> too soon. All right, let's zoom back to town. We We can upgrade again. We can buy a new shield. I think I had enough money now for the last upgrade I couldn't get here. Steel shield. Just for J-Conk. Oh, J-Conk has no space. You know what? Uh, Linda, you hold the silver key, please. Anything else? 
You can hold the Tombala ticket as well. You know what? I guess we can go play the stupid lottery. We're not going to win anything anyway. I don't know if there's like a key or a trick to winning the lottery, but I don't know it if there is. There one next time. Do I have another? So close. Oh, great. Another con ticket. They always give me more tickets. Zance, is there a trick to this? Or you just gotta get lucky? Just keeps giving me more tickets. Think I always save scum. I don't. I'm playing as as clean as possible. No save states for me. Oh, two hearts. Oh, I got something. I was playing slots. You won our fifth place prize. I'm a medical herb. I want a medical herb worth like eight gold. What a waste of time. Give me something better, you jerk. All, yeah, I know All Suns is like the main prize and then All Stars is the runner up. They told me that earlier. to save scum this because you get so many free tickets. Oh, too bad. Am I out of tickets finally? Yep, I don't have a ticket. Alright, good. We got rid of our tickets. Good enough. I don't need the medical herb I got. I guess I'll sell it. rather have space than another medical herb. Alright. Now I'll buy my steel shield. Sell my old shield. Well, I got all the best gear that I can currently buy. I gotta find that cape that lets me fly from a tower, and I have a theory on where that might be. I saw a little tower earlier that was kind of suspicious. I wanna see if I can find that again. Let's go save. Rolando's almost leveled up. I'm gonna look into this tower before I end this stream. So I think it was south of here. It was behind some mountains. Right down here? I saw a suspicious tower behind some mountains, but I don't remember precisely where it was. Need that. Is it down here? 
don't remember. It was a while ago. Let's whoosh these fools. Oh, I'm missing. No missing allowed. Oh, no, that didn't miss. Good. Oh, maybe it was down there. Maybe it was down there by that swamp. Bet it was down there. I bet I need to circle all the way around to go down. Alright, well, certainly not over here. Level 11, Strength 1, Speed 4, Vitality 2, HP 3, MP 2. Pretty good level up, Rolando. Alright, well since I took a wrong turn at first, I might as well stay at the inn again and refill my mana. Then we'll head the other way. Okay, we're heading west, and then we'll cut down south, and then back to the east. Uh, let's feed them without magic. We'll save our magic for a bit. Oh, Jake Hawk missed. That's oh, he hit Linda hard. Linda does no defense. Maybe it was this way. I saw that tower. Behind these rocks, maybe? I think this is it. Thank you. 
Is it? Yes, I think that might be the tower that has the cloak I'm looking for. How do I get to it? I gotta get to the other side of this river somehow. Any of these bridges? see a way to get there from here. What about on the other side there? Is there a bridge down? That's where I need to be. I do not know how to get to it. I think I know where to try next. But I'm over my two hours, so I might heal up, save, and call the retro stream here. Maybe get back to this tomorrow morning. Almost lunchtime, anyway. One bro, great stream. Hey, thanks, Lowen. Hey, thanks for hanging out. All right. Uh, is anyone around that I want to raid? Who's on? Not that there's a lot of people watching, but it's still fun to raid. Oh, we got Notorious Swede playing some dose right now. Let's do it. Where is... All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm gonna raid Swede. Okay, poop, do that. Let's get this going. I spelled his name right. Nope, I did not spell his name right. Let me try that again. spelled it right cool thanks for watching everybody and i will be back on in probably a couple hours with either monster hunter dose or frontier i'm not 100 percent set on which one yet hope to see you there